Hello everybody, Darkspine Sonic 3 here, and I'm bringing you Plants vs. Zombies. I like this game a lot. It's pretty fun to play, and I'm not entirely sure how entertaining it'll be to watch, but it's an enjoyable experience, and I do highly recommend it. So let's start our adventure. Interesting. PopCap Games presents... Plants vs. Zombies. Like I said before, this is a very enjoyable experience. It isn't every day that you come across a game like this that can be executed as well as Plants vs. Zombies was. So in the tutorial levels, which last about four or five, um, it pretty much just teaches you the basics of the game. Whereas it teaches you how to plant your, plant your offense, your defense, your support, teaches you how to pick up sun, how everything works in the game. See you over here, this is a zombie. Well, it's dead, but they're always dead. So, that's a good thing. One more thing to add. When a zombie gets to your plant, it'll start eating it. Um, after a couple seconds, depending on the plant, that plant will disappear and it will move on to the next. It However, while it is eating a plant, it is vulnerable. So, it is possible for a while a zombie to be eating a plant, another plant can kill it. If all of your plants in a row are, are destroyed and a zombie makes it to the end a first time, a lawn mo there's a lawnmower at the very end. Right here, or more right here now. When a zombie makes it to these lawnmowers, it'll automatically destroy a whole row of zombies. That can be very, it'll be very beneficial, but once that lawnmower is gone, you can't use it again for the rest of this round. So you have, you, you really need to focus on defense and offense. It's a very common uh, strategy to put sunflowers in the back. However, I will be trying to switch it up every now and then because of course, sunflower sunflowers do not have any form of attack, so if a zombie makes it to your sunflower, then pretty much there is absolutely nothing to defend you. So, I might try to switch it up by putting sunflowers on the second column, and then having pea shooters on the first column. I think that might be a very beneficial thing for this LP, because it'll just make things go by so much easier. While a zombie's eating your poor little sunflower, it can still be taken care of. And actually, there's a ne there isn't a better feeling than having a complete row, a complete column of plants that can that can defend your uh, lawn. It's, it especially feels good when you have three pea shooters out and then an excellent line of sunflowers to help to help acquire sun. It it just feels really good. It makes you feel accomplished. I'm going to be having that feeling a lot, I can feel. So, in the bottom right corner, you see this little level progress bar. Um, when the zombie head makes it to the flag, sometimes there will be more than one flag, when it makes it to a flag, the flag will be raised, and then a huge wave of zombies will appear, such as these. Isn't really much of a problem for right now, but the waves will get harder as you go along. And after the last zombie is killed, it will drop a plant that you can use in your next in the next round. These are cherry bombs. Notice the bloom and doom seed? Yeah, bloom and doom. Cherry Bomb blows up all zombies in an area. It costs 150 sun, as you can see here. And it's... It's very... It can be helpful, but it isn't something that'll stay permanently. After you use it, it'll be gone. It'll blow up in an, It'll blow up... Let's say about... The three squares of... Or not three squares, nine squares of zombies. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. If you plant a cherry bomb right here, it'll destroy 9. And 
if you find yourself to be overwhelmed, it does one one shot kill almost every zombie in the game. Some of them require two, some possibly more. However, it can be very helpful, and the more zombies you destroy, the better. I keep forgetting to try that uh, new plan that I have, but it won't really matter until the second world. So I guess that's the important part here. So, once you make it past this level, once you make it to level 1-4, all five rows will be um, rolled out. You'll have all five lawnmowers, and you'll have um, varying levels of support for your, uh, for your lawn. You'll have your offense, which are the pea shooters, your defense, or not your defense, your support, which are the sunflowers, um, temp temporary... Uh, plants that are like the cherry bombs and then one more which I pretty much already spoiled it's the defense can't really have much of a uh, can't really have much of an army without a defense however we will see that in action soon enough this here is a uh, traffic cone zombie it takes slightly more hits than a regular zombie to kill it's it's best to use two two pea shooters on it instead of one because they are much more durable than regular zombies and as you can see only one would by the time the ro the traffic cone actually came off that zombie would probably be up here if you had only had one I suppose during the uh, huge wave I will show you all what the Cherry Bomb does, just to show it off, we won't really need it until much later. But in the meantime, here's a huge wave of zombies approaching. Or so I've been told. Let's plant it right here. Bam! They're all dead. Defense! This is a walnut. That's spelled with two L's, kids. It costs 50 sun, and it blocks off zombies and protects your other plants. These are very durable, whereas most plants would only take about 3 or 4 seconds to be eaten. This one will take about 15 to 20. It's a very helpful, it's a very helpful plant to have, and, so, and later on in the game we'll be getting better upgraded versions of it, such as tall nuts and uh, pumpkins. So, we start off our game, and once again, I haven't done the strategy. I'm going to just stop talking about the strategy. So, you start off the level, you plant your sunflower. You always start off with 50 sun. The only reason why we didn't start off with... Well, why we started off with 150 in that first level was to show off what... What exactly, uh... It just... It wanted to have give you have a... Yeah. It wanted to give you enough sun so that you could plant a pea shooter and then have enough to plant another. Quite a simple strategy, really. The game the game has a very good tutorial. You can't exactly tell it's a tutorial until you actually uh unless you actually pay attention to the fact that there are little messages on the bottom. But the game is pretty self explanatory. And I mean I mean that in a good way. So, here we have um, all five rows rolled out, and we're able to fully... We have to fully focus on all five rows, otherwise... Um, and I dealt with this issue in Plants vs. Zombies 2, which I might end up playing at a later date. Um, I noticed that I was focusing too much on the bottom rows, and my top row had been completely annihilated. And that was... That was very... That was a big mistake on my part, and it was because of that that I nearly failed. I still haven't failed yet, but it's very important to focus on all five rows. Later on, there will be much... The, the game has a very diverse set of zombies, and later on we'll see many more. 
But for right now, within the first five levels, you're going to be seeing a lot of regular zombies and road cone zombies. I've pretty much exhausted everything that I can say at this point. But there are also many different types of levels. You see, what you see here is the front yard level. Um, there are um, there are two different types of front yards. There is a daytime version, such as where we are now, and then after you, after you beat level one ten, which is a huge wave of which is a big attack, and you'll have a conveyor belt, but you'll see that later. Um, there will also be a nighttime level. Night in nighttime levels. You do start off with 50 sun, but no sun will fall from the sky as you just saw. You'll start with 50 sun, you plant a sunflower, you get some sun, and you can plant your plants. However, by that point, you'll also have gotten a very beneficial plant known as the mushroom. The puff shroom, sorry. Puff shrooms are very important, and um, honestly... If you didn't have a puff shroom out, there would you probably wouldn't um, survive the wave. You got the shovel. The shovel lets us dig up a plant to make room for another plant. It's pretty beneficial. It's going to be very important. Greetings, neighbor. Name's Crazy Dave. But you can just call me Crazy Dave. Listen, I've got a surprise for you. But first, I'll need you to clear your lawn. Use your shovel and dig up those plants. Let the digging commence! Crazy Dave is a pretty cool character. Okay, goody. Now for the surprise. We're going bowling! Here, take this walnut. Why'd I put a walnut in your hand? That one's pretty self-explanatory. Now go! Bow me a winner! Bane! Where's the trigger, Bane? Now, this is a conveyor belt level. The way these work is you throw out a walnut or whatever plant comes up. There are different types of conveyor belt levels. You, th But in this one, walnut bowling, it's a very fun minigame. What you do is you... Plant a walnut on the left side of this line, and it will roll it over and it'll hit a zombie. Some zombies take one hit, others take two. There are also zombies that take three hits. Normal zombies take one hit, road code zombies take two, and then other zombies take three. This is an explodo nut. When you deploy it, it does a the same thing as a cherry bomb. It's very helpful and it'll take out a lot of zombies if you're having trouble. It's best to save them for when there are a lot of zombies on screen. Or for when they're just getting close. In later versions of the game you will or more in, in later versions of this mini game when you hit a zombie you will be able to collect coins, which can be used in the shop to buy plants, power-ups, um, more seed slots. It's it, and There's a huge variety of things to get. However, for right now, we don't have to worry about all of that, and we can just focus on killing zombies in a timely manner. Whatever's most efficient for you. I enjoy this song, too. Laura Shigahara did a very good job. Crap, we're running out of time. I've decided that I'm going to make these videos 15 minutes long each. It'll... It's good enough to... Um, it's good enough to show you the main basics of the game. Unfortunately, we're going to have to continue this at a later date. I'm sorry, guys. Goodbye.